More than half a century ago, the world made a promise to end racial discrimination, to end humiliation, and to come together inspired by the ambition that the world could be more safe, more fair, and more inclusive. Today and every day, we remember the victims of racism. We honor every person who continues to raise their voice and fight for change. We have seen progress. Powerful anti-racist movements have shaken governments and demanded equal rights. Countries are adopting new laws. They are taking multiple affirmative action measures. But we are far from where we should be. No country can claim to be free of racism. Nor has any country fully accounted for the past. Millions still endure the consequences of the historical denial of their humanity. Millions more suffer the cruel legacies of colonialism or the memories of the inhuman and criminal enslavement of generations of women, men, and children of African descent. National, ethnic, linguistic, and religious minorities have had their human rights trampled upon. So too, Roma, indigenous peoples, and many other groups. This year, we also mark the end of the international decade for people of African descent. I state again that efforts towards recognition justice and development for people of African descent must continue beyond 2024. And I am adding my voice to calls for the proclamation of a second decade. We must do better. We must remember the societies which thrive, celebrate the magnificent diversity of our human family. They embrace the principles of justice, dignity, equality and respect for all. And in doing so, they pave the path towards a future without hate, a future for which we should all strive. Thank you.